Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 30th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and that is reality, right? We're all on different clocks, and this reading may or may not be for you. It's not a private reading. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for around the 30th, the 1st, the 2nd, something like that? Something is about to open up. This is opening up, sharing, giving. Letting go of an obsession. Hmm. Nine of Swords reversed. It's a very stressful. It's hard. It's really hard to open up. It's really hard to give. Somebody is stressing. Extremely. Extremely stressed. Maybe extremely worried about opening up. Extremely worried about giving. Hmm. This is exhausted. King of Pentacles. This is unstable. And this is a loss of stability. Somebody could be losing their stability. Losing their stability or their security. There could be a loss of money even. This is the Four of Pentacles reversed. This is the King of Pentacles reversed. Somebody could be very worried about a loss. This person is unstable. And insecure and selfish. So we have some a selfish energy here. This is extreme with the Nine of Swords reversed. This, this could be extreme regrets. So somebody could be regretting their poor decisions because the King of Pentacles in reverse is a person, doesn't matter what sign it is, it really doesn't, that is has made a lot of poor uh, decisions regarding stability and security. Hasn't been very practical, hasn't been very realistic. This person may have done some things illegally the wrong way. They may have chosen materialistic things and well, it looks like we have somebody here that has been really obsessed with all the wrong things by the looks of things. Money, things, obsessions. What's the word for that? Possessions. Possessions. Anyway, this is regrets. Somebody may be uh, really having some regrets. death, reverse, and when everything is reversed, that means there's an absence of, so there's an absence of success here, there's an absence of security, there's an absence of stability, somebody has been hanging on, hanging on to the bitter end, refusing to let go, refusing to open up something like that, but this is a dead end, it's totally resisting change, somebody has been resisting change, but I don't think they can resist it anymore, because there's this is like stress and stress kills. Stress kills. It does. So stress is killing somebody. It's, oh God. And I was going to say slowly and painfully, and I'm not trying to bring people down, but I have to say what comes to my mind. It's like they've been resisting a new beginning by holding on to something that isn't stable anyway. Anyway, we have somebody here that is probably really, really worried, uh, stressed, regretful. 
really having a hard time sleeping, and I mean a hard time sleeping. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth, okay? Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. It's like now there's a loss of power there. There, It's like they're losing their power. It's, it feels like we have somebody here that is going downhill really fast. And that's reality. We don't... We have to experience the lows to find the ability to... Or not find the ability. What's the word for it? We have to experience the lows to be grateful for the highs, okay? If, if we didn't ever experience a low, we wouldn't know what it feels like to feel good. So I'll get people that want to comment below. Why would you give a reading? You know that stupid shit? Go someplace else, please. The reality is, is that we have somebody here that has made some really poor decisions based on materialistic uh, social pressure. And now they're probably having some serious regrets. And maybe they're worried. They're worried. Maybe they're losing their power. They're losing their strength. They're losing something. They're definitely losing something. They are. With the Four of Pentacles being the reversed in the first the first uh, card. This is a loss of stability, right? A loss of security. Somebody was holding on to something. They were holding on to their stability. They were holding on for dear life, clearly. But it's like there's going to be a release. Something is slipping away. It's like their power... Is, this is the sort of power. Somebody's power. It's like their power. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's their vitality. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's power. There's a loss of power here. It's like they don't have the power to hold on anymore. And no, my deck is not upside down. Two of swords reversed. This is seeing a situation, lies being exposed, seeing a situation clearly. Somebody is truly now seeing a situation clearly. After they've been wearing a blindfold, after they've been in a state of darkness, after they've been refusing to see things in a different light, it's like now they're starting to see. It's like now they're starting to wake up after having their eyes closed. Somebody is starting to wake up. There is, this is, there's over, there's, they're right here, overwhelming fears. This is overwhelming fears and overwhelmingly worried. Somebody is very, very, very worried. They may be worried that it's just about over. Something is just about over with that death card reversed. They're worried about this loss. Judgment. They may be worried about Judgment Day. Judgment reversed. Somebody truly has not been telling the truth. We have somebody here that is so dishonest. Very dishonest. And it has made a lot of poor judgment calls. A lot. And I flip a whole stack, by the way. Anyway, or a little stack or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, somebody's made some poor, 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 poor decisions. Poor judgment calls. They've been keeping secrets. Holding on to the past. And there's karma here. And it ain't the good kind. Now somebody is losing their power because of the poor decisions that they have made.
They just weren't aware. There's truly a lack of awareness here. Truly. Somebody was totally unaware that they were making poor decisions. They were. But now they're stressed. Really, really, really stressed. And it's like, it's like now they see that whoever they're dealing with isn't, isn't a good person or isn't whatever they were doing wasn't the right call. Now they see that. And that's why they have regrets. Somebody is really giving deep thought to a relationship that they are in. And when I say relationship, it doesn't have to mean your sexual partner. We are in relationships with our parents. We are in relationships with our children. We are in relationships with our friends. We are in relationships with our co-workers. We are in relationships with every person that we come in contact with. Somebody is beginning to realize that they did not see a situation clearly and they are starting to wake up and see something in a different light. That somebody has been holding on and resisting change. They have. And something has needed to come to an end for a long time now. And that somebody has been so resistant that now they it's 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 like the plague, okay? It's plaguing them. Now it's it's almost like it's abundantly clear. But somebody was totally asleep, seriously. And now there's a loss of power. What is this ace of swords reversed? Time for a change. And we finally got one upright. And it couldn't be any better than that. The wheel is spinning. It's like a power shift. There is a shift of power. It's like power is taken out of somebody else's hands and put into another's. So we have a shift of power here. It's destined. A destined change, of course. This is a completion. We have big... Completion, completion, completion. But somebody has been resisting this end. They have. But something is about to come to an end. A cycle is ending. There's, 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 it's, it's like. It's time. It's time to start over. It's time to let go. Let go of what you've been holding on to. It's time to wake up. This is, this is karma. And this is karma. This is karma and destiny. So this is a change of course. Whatever is happening is changing... It is, your direction. So something is happening and, and a direction is changing and it's changing for the better, even though it may not be comfortable because change is worrisome. Change is stressful. Somebody has been resisting change to the point of illness. Seriously, the nine of swords reverse is illness. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords reverse. Now this is liberation. Freedom. Freedom. Look at the tens. Look at the completions. This is a ma we have a major completion of a cycle here. I think that we have somebody here that is actually going to get a rude awakening with the judgment reversed. I think they maybe they have. I think that we have somebody here that has gotten a rude awakening based on the poor decisions that they have made. There's a loss of power, and this is karmically driven. We have a major completion. There's no joke with these tens and the death card and the judgment. I'm telling you what. This is freedom from a stressful situation. It's the end. It's over. Ten of swords reversed. There's been a delay. 
because somebody was resisting. They were resisting letting go and holding on and holding on and holding on till the bitter end. But I think the delay is over. I do. It feels almost like there's going to be a sudden change. I think there's going to be like a sudden change here. Um... This is liberation from a, a situation that, you know, somebody made some poor, poor judgment calls based on selfishness, based on greed. And they may re be really scared. They may be really scared of their own judgment day and whatever the judgment day is. Judgment day could be at court, could be when you die, whatever. Somebody's probably scared of judgment day. And they probably should be if they if they were very selfish and greedy and unstable and insecure and uh, <laughs> driven by society. They let their ego and their pride get in the way, whatever. Somebody totally made some poor decisions. And I'm sorry for repeating myself and you don't like it, you, whatever. We have a change of course. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles, this change of course brings you stability, brings you security, brings you abundance. This is the storm is over. There's going to be some sort of increase. This is closure, closure of a cycle. Nines are closure. Nines are also a sign to move on. Somebody is moving on from a situation that they have been hanging on to. And they were only hanging on to it. <laughs> Obviously, because they were obsessed with proving themselves. Four of Pentacles reversed up here. We have a very selfish, greedy individual here who is totally regretting their past. Judgment is kind of past. But now things are about to change and they're about to change for the better because it feels like this person is now seeing a situation differently and they're ready to open up and they're ready to give and they're ready to share. So for some of you with this nine of pentacles, this is, this is, this, some of you could be getting, you know, a gift or maybe even a raise or a bonus. And, and I know this is going a different way, but the nine of pentacles is abundance. This is some somebody may be becoming single because this is a single independent person who is who has worked really hard to pick themselves up from the bottom and take care of business on their own. This is somebody who is self sufficient. Happy. Doesn't need anybody. This is a reward. Somebody could be receiving a reward. Or a gift, because I feel like there's a gift coming. This is, and this is, somebody's been in a painful, stressful situation where it was very, uh, it was a battlefield, a real battlefield. They they went through this uh, serious battle, and it's over. It's over now. It's, this is it's over. This is this. I'm telling you what. It's over. This fight is over. The, the fight is over. Somebody is, is, is leaving the battlefield and going their own way. This is a card of independence. So somebody is literally going their own way. They're traveling to a new destination by themselves. This is the, the Wheel of Fortune is a, a change that brings you closer to your life's purpose. It brings you to some place that you are meant to be that is going to be more rewarding. Somebody is going to be getting some sort of reward for letting go. This is letting go right here. The very first card. So I feel as though today or tomorrow or whenever this is. We have somebody that is making a decision to let go of something that was very unhealthy 
and stressful and painful and worrisome that they were trying to hold on to. It's like they're not going to give it their power anymore. I'm not giving it my power. I'm changing. I'm changing my destination. I'm changing my path. I'm changing my future. So I think we have some. This is this is this is making the decision. It's seeing. It's like I'm I'm choosing. Choose are choices. I'm choosing to break free from this situation and go my own way. So somebody is choosing to go their own way, and somebody's gonna get good news. They're taking a new adventure. Somebody's going to receive an invitation or an offer from, from somebody that excites them. Maybe that's what happened. And it's going to happen fast. I think this, there's going to be a swift change in direction. So get prepared. We have a, we have a selfish, greedy individual... That gets some sort of, maybe it's some sort of karma that kicks them in the ass. I don't know. Something happens that changes this person's perspective, per se. And it's, it, it, it like makes them see that I got this is the Nine of Pentacles. I'm better off. This is independence. It really is. I'm good on my own. I can do this by myself. I don't need anybody. I'm out of here. If you have been struggling in the financial arena and you've made some really poor decisions and you've been stubborn, my advice is to let go of that stubbornness. Because that stubborn this is stubbornness in the upright. That stubbornness is going to keep you blocked. This is blocked. You have to open up. You have to be willing to learn new things. You have to be willing to try new things. You need to be willing to work with people. And see things from other people's perspective. There's been a lack of communication here. Or there's a communication shutdown that is about to happen. It could go either way. We could go all day with these cards. There could be communication shutting down. Somebody could be stopping communicating with somebody that they were holding on to that doesn't serve them anyway. It's just like, I'm done. That's what I feel like this is. It's like, no. I finally see this for what it is. It's not. I mean, judgment reversed. It's it's not truth. It's not It's not the truth. I realize that's not the truth. So I feel like somebody gets some sort of rude awakening about whoever they're dealing with and they decide to break free because this is freedom. After holding on and resisting for so long, it's like something happens that just like wakes them up. Good luck.